Welcome to another fascinating video. Today, we delve into the life and legacy of Kim Il-sung, the founding father of North Korea. As we explore his journey from humble beginnings to becoming an influential figure in Korean history, we'll uncover the complexities and nuances of his rule. So buckle up and join us as we venture into the intriguing story of the man who shaped the destiny of a nation. Born amidst the humble surroundings of Mangyongde, a quaint village not far from Pyongyang on April 15, 1912, Kim Songju emerged into the world. Little did anyone know that this child, who would later adopt the name Kim Il-sung, meaning become the son, would become the founding father of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, and an influential figure in Korean history. His life and legacy continued to cast a long shadow over the nation. The Japanese occupation of Korea marked Kim Il-sung's formative years, a period replete with injustice and suffering. These experiences fueled a fervent desire to fight for independence, leading him to join the anti-Japanese resistance in the waning years of the 1920s. To Manchuria, he ventured there to marshal and command guerrilla forces in their struggle against Japanese oppressors. Respect and admiration for his efforts in the battle for Korean independence were his reward, paving the way for his future leadership. When World War II came to its conclusion, the Soviet Union saw fit to designate Kim Il-sung as North Korea's leader. In 1946, he forged the Korean Workers' Party KOP, by uniting various communist and nationalist factions. Kim Il-sung's rule bore the hallmarks of Juke, the philosophy of self-reliance, a personality cult, and a steadfast commitment to constructing a thriving socialist state. The year 1950 bore witness to Kim Il-sung's initiation of the Korean War, as he sought to reunify the Korean Peninsula under the crimson banner of communism by invading South Korea. Despite a ceasefire agreement in 1953, the peninsula remained sundered along the 38th parallel. In the wake of war's devastation, Kim Il-sung persisted in amassing power, implementing land reforms and nationalizing industry to breathe new life into the North Korean economy. Rapid economic growth defined the 1960s and 1970s in North Korea, the state investing prodigiously in infrastructure, education, and the military. Kim Il-sung's leadership exuded an air of self-reliance and an isolationist foreign policy. A pervasive personality cult enveloped the great leader, and his juche ideology became the nation's guiding light. Nevertheless, a dark underbelly marked Kim Il-sung's rule, a merciless and repressive regime. Dissent was anathema, and the state's iron grip extended to information, education, and the media. Forced labor camps and political purges, stark examples of human rights abuses, garnered international concern and censure. In 1994, the sun set on Kim Il-sung's life and his son, Kim Jong-il, rose to take his place at the helm. Yet, a specter of the eternal president lingers in North Korea, his juge ideology and personality cult continuing to mold the nation's political terrain. Kim Il-sung's life and legacy are rife with complexity and nuance. While his leadership sowed the seeds for North Korea's development, it also cultivated a repressive regime whose consequences still reverberate throughout the nation and its people. Thank you for watching this captivating journey into the life and legacy of Kim Il-sung. We hope you gained valuable insights into the man behind the myth, as well as a deeper understanding of North Korea's history. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Until next time, take care and stay curious.